from the company behind all the worst Toy Stories comes the exciting prologue to the G.I. Joe franchise. And also, the other exciting prologue to the G.I. Joe franchise after that first one didn't hit. Because after two films showing us how it all began, it's time for the Joeverse to get another exciting prologue again. Knowing is half the battle. The other half is knowing when the f***ing battle is supposed to start. G.I. Joe's 1 and 2. Remember the classic G.I. Joe cartoon and action figures? Kinda before your time? Okay, well, they made two movies about the guys from the Pork Chop Sandwiches video. Pork Chop Sandwiches! Oh, shit. And they're like Team America, but without the jokes. Damn, I missed him! Also before your time? Well, I don't know what to tell you then. A Serpentor in Fortnite? But with the same company as the Transformers toys behind the project, they're gonna follow that same old formula, mixing generic military dudes and hot military babes with a bunch of CGI nonsense. Yet it never really comes together. See, Michael Bay knew that the secret sauce was racist robots. What are we gonna do with this shrimp taco? Let me just bump a cap in his ass, throw him in the truck, and then nobody gonna know nothing, not me. I do, nah, mean, mudflap. I do. Waste two hours meeting Channing Tatum as Duke, a performance with all the easygoing charm of a man who's there against his will. Detail, attention! Because he was. I hate that movie, I, so I was pushed into doing that movie. He's playing a sad potato who ghosted his fiance after getting her little brother killed, yet we're still supposed to like him. But not for too long, because he's only in the sequel for 10 minutes before he hands it off to his oldest pal, The Rock. Uncle Duke, the thing you have big I... ears. Uncle Duke? Wait, wasn't his lifelong best friend Marlon Wayans? What happened to Ripcord? Did all the workplace sexual harassment finally catch up with him? Hmm? I'm attracted to you. When I get a target in my sights, I take it down. We are tough, but we're also sensitive. Watch The Rock's reputation as franchise Viagra go down like a flaccid windsock. And he's getting zero help from Ray Park in yet another voiceless role. Bruce Willis doing the least to collect his check, as is tradition. And Joseph Gordon-Levitt, for the first movie at least, as My Chemical Cobra Commander, the inspiration for Deadpool. Makeup design. Like a testicle with teeth. Right along with two stories that feel like they were stolen from a little boy's notebook margins, featuring twists like Bad Lady Good Now, Good Guy Bad Now, and Uh-Oh, Bad Guy Good Guy, in scripts that fail all the way down to the sentence structure. The G.I. Joes are about to be out of the picture. And by out of the picture, I mean alive on Earth. That's not what out of the picture means. Think war toys are just for the boys? So does Hasbro. But dang it, they're gonna do their best to sneak in some ladies where they can. Girl Scout to secretary. Amazing. Awkwardly. Don't make me shoot a woman. Get out! Nice shoes. Very awkwardly. Goodbye, sweetheart. Uh. That's right. You don't kill women. He didn't want to put his life in the hands of a woman. Really very awkwardly. Amy Vandervoort, Fox News. Oh, Fox, of course. That's why you look so fair and balanced. <laughs> <laughs> very cute. You think it, it doesn't so long as they still promise to dress all sexy. And when a fight breaks out, only square off against the other woman, even if that means fighting an old lady. <laughs> Experience two films that can't even do American propaganda right, where the army keeps getting its ass handed to them, bombs their own troops, and doesn't notice when their own president gets swapped with a shapeshifter for months. Meanwhile, the Joes do nothing but get beat up, have their shit stolen, get arrested, and let everyone in London die. Like nine million people, dead. Sorry, Big Ben. So before you see Snake Eyes in the, so before you scroll past Snake Eyes on some streaming service, revisit the films that already gave you a perfectly reasonable Snake Eyes origin story. He's a lost member of the Wu-Tang Clan. But in order for me to bring him to justice, you must deliver him to me, alive. Who spent his entire childhood beating the crap out of another kid. Kid fight, 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 kid fight. Sadly, this is the best part of the whole franchise. Kid fight, kid fight, kid fight. Starring. G.I. Chode. Shh, I'm hunting cobras. 
Inventor of the fidget spinner. The price is wrong, b****. Dwayne the walk away from explosions, Johnson. Fight Chicks. Scar Joe. My Trooper ex-girlfriend. The Quaid Redemption. We all live in a high-tech submarine. High-tech submarine. High-tech submarine. I'm gonna sew Storm Shadow's ass shut and just keep feeding him and feeding him. Cobra! Brendan Fraser for one scene? Why? And more Cisco than the thong song. Currently unknown, for one thing's for sure. Only minor injuries to report, sir. Knowing half the bath. <sighs> Body massage origins. Wow, an exploding motorcycle you have to jump off of to use? That's probably the worst weapon in history. There's only one thing I hate more than lying. Skim milk, which is water that's lying about being milk. You're a bread compartment. Country home, take me road to a belong where I am place. Hello, nurse.